period in which it is endemic. Could you just sort of say how you, you respond to an endemic virus as opposed to the, to the pandemic that we've experienced um, for most of the period so far? So it, it means that the virus is going to circulate, um, could, I think, forever. Um, now, I hope it will circulate in a, in a less um, virulent form. Um, and it means that we have to basically manage it as we would do with flu, which is also an endemic virus. And so that means we have to have identify who's most at risk. We need to continue to protect those people forever. It's again, you've got Wei Shen coming up and he will be a lot more um, thoughtful about than I would. But my expectation is that those most vulnerable should be vaccinated regularly. That yeah. may be only yearly now. Um, so that to me means all adults over the age of 50 and all adults um, under 50 with severe underlying disease um, and anybody else that uh, JCVI recommends. And they would be give, given um, routine vaccinations. And then uh, if, depending on the severity, it may need to go beyond those um, high risk groups. But I think initially we're going to have to think about how do we keep those high risk groups uh, protected forever. Now, some level of uh, uh, viral um, presence may provide a natural boost. And that itself is not necessarily a bad thing. But um, we just need to understand what is the actual strain of virus and what's the consequence of, of it um, in terms of what the vaccine is going to need to look like and um, who needs to get them.